Hello there. Well, as you can see from the birch trees around me, we're down at one of my favourite venues, um, Frimley, in, um, on the Surrey and Hampshire borders. Uh, and, well, really, we can talk about one of my favourite rigs, really, the Hinge Stiff Rig. Uh, this rig I've used for countless years, for over two decades, really. It's not a rig I invented myself, but um, I've caught fish to over £50 on it. And, um, Really, we've all got our own little ways of tying it up, really, so I'll just run you through how I'll tie it up myself, really. So, starting off with the, from the lead end, um, I use a size eight flexi ring swivel here. It's something I've changed recently. I tended to just use a big eyed swivel at this end, but I've included the flexi ring, because I like the ring to like revolve around on the helicopter rig. Uh, next part to that is the boom section. This has two different two knots one at each end which is my favoured knot for it is the um, figure of eight knot you can use a double overhand uh, loop knot but the reason for that is so that it sits in line really if you use just an overhand loop it will stick off to one side which affects the rig you have to end up steaming it messing about with it and everything to keep it in line so really uh, figure of eight or double overhand loop knots are the ones. Try to keep the loops not too big but not too small. If you're going to have them too small, we might as well just use a flexi ring tied straight with a grinner or something. But yeah, that's the boom section, probably six to eight inches favoured length. In this case, it's like a uh, fairly stiff material, 30 pound mirage like. Um, if I'm overweighing my pop ups, I tend to use a stiffer material so it kicks away. If I want a slow sinking pop up, I use a more flexible one, um, or a trick link or something like that. So more of a nylon y type hook. But yeah, so next up from that is another swivel which creates a hinge. It's a size 12, just a normal barrel swivel. Um, like any swivels, you should check them. It needs to be free revolving so that like the hook spins because it is effectively part of the hook um, above that swivel which is attached to the boom via the loop knot I spoke about earlier tied with a free turn grinner knot to the swivel it's the start of the hooking section um, then we you know we move up to the hook which I tie with a six turn whipping knot then form a D tuck it back through the eye and blob it really which on that, I'll put anything from a, a flexi um, ball ring on there to screw a bait on. You can use just a normal D ring to floss your baits on, or a micro swivel, any, whatever you fancy, really. I tend to mix it up a bit, and um, you know, sometimes I like screwing the baits on, they go on quicker. But yeah, obviously, putty, depending on how you want your hook baits to settle, whether you want it to sit down quick or. Um, you know, overweighing. I tend to use, you know, leave my rods out for long periods of time, anything from 24 hours up to 72 hours. So there we, you know, that's really the basics of the rig, really. But one of the most important things, and people will criticise the hinge rig or the chod rig for costing them fish, they bump them and lose them. And one of the biggest causes of that is your pop-up. Uh, luckily, Urban do very good pop-ups and, um, it doesn't matter whether you use these sort of cork ball ones or these ones which are just like a normal pop-up, solid pop-up. They, they stay up for three days which is massively important. So they keep, you know, the rig cock sat up dead up right off the bottom waiting for the fish to come. They don't lay down and like I said just now, I tend to leave my rods out for long periods of time so I don't want a pop-up to be sitting lazy it's affecting the way the rig will spin and hook a fish so I really you know I need to be have reliable pop-ups and luckily you know Urban supplies these and they only do three different types of bait but in each of them baits they do different colour pop-ups um, and they do washed out ones you have a washed out pink washed out yellow or you have a bright yellow or bright pink ones to match the bait, match the hatch as some call. We even do cork ball pop-ups with mesh around them, which is 
very useful, say, at this time of year when you might be getting bird attacks on your pop-ups, getting worried about, say, if you're using a cork ball, whether they've plucked the sides off it, it's affected your buoyancy. So if a paste or the skin comes off, the rig could start sitting up off the bottom, you know, you're effectively fishing a, say, a foot long zig off the bottom without realising it, but that's, that's the bonus of a mesh one. But yeah, pop-up's massively important for the hinge stiff rig, so really, that's what I, I use a lot of the time during the winter months and you know early spring so if you're going to try it maybe try the pop-ups as well. Hope you've enjoyed the video we've done today um, if you're watching this video on YouTube please subscribe to our channel we're going to be putting up um, lots of videos over the next few weeks also if you're watching it on Facebook please like our page and leave some comments below uh, if you go onto our website, you can come onto our mailing list. Uh, we're going to be doing um, lots of different carp tips, secret carp tips, secret videos. Um, every single week, we're going to have different anglers on here doing videos, and uh, I really hope you enjoy them. Um, tight lines and good luck.